Time now for a look through the global headlines. We're following this hour from Seoul, Korea. For that, we turn to Eunice Kim, standing by for us at the News Center. Good morning, Eunice. And good morning to you, Mark. Amid growing stern criticism that it did not send a higher level leader to Sunday's Paris Unity rally, the White House has recognized its oversight in a rare admission of error. Some have asked whether or not the United States should have sent someone with a higher profile than the ambassador to France. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that we should have sent someone with a higher profile uh, to, to be there. Uh, that said, there is no doubt uh, that the American people and this administration stand four square behind our allies in France uh, as they face down this threat. White House spokesman Josh Earnest went on to explain there was not enough notice ahead of the march to install the needed security for a presidential or a vice presidential participation. The massive anti terrorism rally had attracted a historic 3.7 million participants across the nation, according to the French Interior Ministry, including 40 world leaders. The U.S. had sent its ambassador to France, Jane Hartley. Belatedly, America's top diplomat John Kerry announced he would be heading to Paris at the end of this week for talks on countering extremist violence. Meanwhile, France is boosting its security across the country amid suspicions that sleeper cells were activated following last week's three days of terror that ended with 17 people killed at the hands of three Islamist suspects. It said it will deploy 10,000 troops through Tuesday, some of whom will guard the hundreds of Jewish sites in the country.